Russian President Vladimir Putin has vowed to dismantle the adrenochrome supply chain as news breaks that Russian forces have liberated 50 imprisoned, emaciated children from an adrenochrome farm near Shostko, Ukraine. Russian special forces have also intercepted a refrigerated truck trailer transporting refined adrenochrome from Ukraine to Warsaw, Poland, where they believe the shipment was destined for waiting aircraft bound for Western Europe and the United States. According to reports, the children's captors had drained their brittle young bodies of blood and adrenal fluid so frequently that their survival depended on being fed intravenously and kept in states of medically induced coma. This is a highly significant discovery by Russian forces that could change the course of history because Putin is determined to use the leads generated to destroy the global adrenochrome supply chain and punish those committing crimes against children. Before we dive in, subscribe to the People's Voice Rumble channel if you haven't already, and join the People's Voice Locals community for no holds barred breaking news and commentary, and to join our community of brave truth seekers determined to bring the criminal elite to justice. Following the discovery on orders from Putin, the FSB has launched a worldwide initiative to track down and eliminate adrenochrome manufacturers, sellers, buyers, middlemen, and anybody involved in the production and export of a pharmaceutical cocktail Putin has called the devil's work. According to an FSB spokesman, the Russian president has formed an adrenochrome task force of special agents and hand-picked Spetsnaz to deal with the growing crisis. As Putin explains, the Western elite have been stuffing their bellies with human flesh for centuries. Unspeakable crimes against children have united the vampiric elites as a secretive cabal whose actions behind closed doors have destroyed the lives of so many of the innocent. Они привыкли столетиями набивать брюхо человеческой плотью, а карманы деньгами. Но они должны понять, что бал вампиров заканчивается. According to the Kremlin, President Zelensky's Kiev regime has been earning hundreds of millions of dollars per year by raising children in degrading factory farm conditions and selling them to the highest bidder on the international market. No questions asked. Russian soldiers have made a succession of hideous discoveries inside Ukraine, where children between the ages of two and seven are being raised in factory farm conditions. According to those on the ground in Ukraine, these children are sold as sex slaves to elite pedophiles and those who don't find buyers are carved up like discarded waste, and their organs are harvested and sold for use at European and Israeli transplant centers. My group, Там их раздевали на первом этаже, а на втором, на втором их раздевали. Как ненужный материал, их просто хранили там в ямах или, или куда они вывозили. И вот эти ребята, они, знаете, говорили, как будто они как, как будто какую-то скотину завалили. Поросенка или там кролика, да? Ну, они, да, привозили. Как будто какая-то ферма, понимаете? Вот эта имплантация, да? забирали органы. Слышал об этом, но не верил. Пока своими глазами не увидишь, не поймешь. А когда увидишь, не простишь. Vera Weyman, a whistleblower who worked with the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, shared her testimony about what she witnessed in Ukraine. According to Weyman, the children are transported out of the country in trucks under a grain export code. We had a laboratory for the defenders of Ukraine. It was a debate. They were responsible for the work. They were not able to get a percent of the deal. And they were тем, что убивали детей. Органы они помещали в контейнеры, контейнеры дальше продавались, соответственно, и под кодом, экспортным кодом зерна вывозились. Мы ликвидировали 8 лабораторий, а они представляли 
из себя нечто похожее на то, что мы называем подвалами. В основном мы уже были после зачистки. То есть, когда лаборатория была обнаружена, и, как правило, там это было после взрыва. То есть мы заходили на пепелище, там были трупы, там были дети. Препарированы. То есть дети, детки были разрезаны. Is it really any wonder Zelensky appointed the spirit cooking satanic witch Marina Abramovic, famous for her connections among the global elite, to work with the children of Ukraine? Putin's forces have been putting the pieces of the puzzle together for the last 12 months, and now they are confident they can smash the global network. It's no wonder the desperate elites have now gone into propaganda overdrive. As the people of the world rise up against the evils of the global elite, they are becoming increasingly desperate to ensure they stay in control. The globalists are trying to make us all poorer and destroy what's left of the economy. The Biden regime is following all of the WF diktats to the letter. They literally want you to own nothing and pretend to be happy. It's no joke. That's why I recently decided to put a lot of my own savings into precious metals, gold and silver. I don't trust the banks, I don't trust governments, and I don't trust big tech with my hard-earned money. Why? Because the handful of people that I do trust to give me financial advice, Max Kaiser for instance, have all said that gold is the best insurance against inflation and the stock market. So I decided to partner up with our sponsor, Colonial Metals Group. They helped me set up a self-directed IRA, where I have access to all of my assets, no matter what restrictions the government impose on everybody else. Let the team of experts at CMG help you protect your family's future. And viewers of this channel are being given an exclusive offer. Click on the link below this video or call the 800 number and you'll receive a safe and up to $10,000 in free silver. This offer is exclusive to viewers of The People's Voice. The number to call is 888-351-2043. That's 888-351-2043 or go to colonialmetalsgroup.com forward slash TPV. The British royal family have long been famed for their love of lavish banquets and rich recipes. But what is less well known is that the British royals also had a taste for human flesh. Even as the aristocracy denounced the barbaric cannibals of the new world, they applied, drank or wore powdered Egyptian mummy, human fat, flesh, bone, blood, brains and skin. According to the mainstream media, these occult rituals ended hundreds of years ago. But what Putin understands, and the mainstream media clearly does not, is that nothing has changed, and the occult elites are still performing the same depraved rituals and committing the same crimes against children. According to victims, the elites are still engaged in child sex and human sacrifice. Is it really so hard to believe? After all, Prince Charles was best friends with the most notorious celebrity paedophile in Britain, Sir Jimmy Savile. As for his brother, Prince Andrew, he was best friends with the convicted child sex trafficker, Jeffrey Epstein. This video allegedly shows Prince Andrew at Epstein's Manhattan mansion, waving goodbye to a young woman as he peers out the door. The footage was reportedly shot in 2010, less than an hour after Epstein left the house with another young woman. The prince even appears to check that no one was looking. But it's not just Britain and the US who abuse children in every possible way. The Cabal is a global club that stretches from Canada and Australia and every major capital in between. A man with close links to the political and entertainment industry elite dropped a series of truth bombs on French TV, naming and shaming multiple celebrities, including President Emmanuel Macron and his wife Bridget, who may or may not be a transgender, for using adrenochrome as part of depraved occult rituals to get high and stay young. Here is the moment drug dealer to the stars Gerard Foray mentions adrenochrome to the shock and outrage of the other celebrity panelists. When Foray mentioned the names of France's president Emmanuel Macron and his 70 year old wife Bridget, the interview was suddenly cut short. One can only wonder what he was about to reveal. It's not just France where the brave insiders are beginning to come forward and shed light on the depraved secrets of the occult elite. 
Hollywood actor Jim Caviezel, who played the role of Jesus in Mel Gibson's epic Passion of the Christ, has also gone on the record, admitting that children are being kidnapped and trafficked by Hollywood elites. Caviezel appeared at the Clay Clark's Health and Freedom Conference near Tulsa, Oklahoma, and addressed the issue of child trafficking in Hollywood, revealing that the entertainment elite industry are raping and murdering children for adrenochrome. According to Caviezel, Hollywood elites are addicted to adrenochrome and gut kids alive to get their fix of the drug, which is released as a chemical in the body of terrified children. You said, you said a word a minute ago, and I, I want to clarify what that word was, because you said a word, and yeah. I want to make sure that you said adrenochrome. Yeah. And a lot of people here, there's about 4,500 people here, there's yeah. uh, about a half million people streaming online. We're having some cyber attacks. That feed's been going on and off. It's, it's a, but you said that word, and by yeah. a show of hands, who's heard that word before in this building? Could you please explain to the extent that you want to or not want to what that is? Because some people have never heard that before, and we need to discuss that. Um, essentially, you have adrenaline in your body. I'll just simplify it. And, and when you are scared, you produce adrenaline. Uh, if you're an athlete, you get in the fourth quarter, you have adrenaline that comes out of you. If a child knows he's going to die, uh, his body will uh, secrete this uh, adrenaline. Um, and they have a lot of terms that they use that he takes me through. But um, it's the worst horror I've ever seen is screaming alone, even if I never, ever, ever, ever saw it. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's beyond, and these people that do it, um, there'll be no mercy for them. Jim Caviezel is not the only one who is coming forward and exposing the elites. Mel Gibson, who directed Caviezel in Passion of the Christ, has also gone on the record denouncing Hollywood as a den of parasites who feast on the blood of kids. If you want to live in a world that's safe for our children, it's time to choose a side and make a stand. Are you on the side of the Hollywood entertainment system that corrupts and abuses children and the entertainment media that covers up the crimes of abusers in positions of power? Or are you on the side of the brave truth tellers seen in this video who are determined to make the world a safe place for our children? Come and help us expose the crimes of the elite by subscribing to the People's Voice channel on Rumble and joining the People's Voice Locals community to join us in our mission to educate the world about what's really happening behind the scenes in the world today. I hope to see you there. Today's video is brought to you by IPV6ers. Are you a content creator who wants to publish information online without Big Brother spying and censoring your every move? IPv6ers is set to revolutionize the way information is disseminated on the internet by eliminating the need for big tech companies to provide unreliable, overpriced services such as self-hosting, email, and data management. IPv6ers enables an easy and accessible way for you to host your own web and email server with direct end-to-end -end connections and enhanced security. This means no snooping from Big Brother and no interference from the technocratic elite. If Hillary Clinton can get away with running her own server, why shouldn't you? Go to thepeoplesvoice.tv forward slash IPv6 to sign up or click the link below this video to take back control of the internet and win the info wars against the globalists. If you like our content, help support our sponsor IPv6ers and go to thepeoplesvoice.tv forward slash IPv6 today. Thank you IPv6ers for making this video possible.